Oh hi, I didn't see you there. My name is Bliss Foster and today we're going to be talking about a pair of boots that should be legendary but don't seem to be catching on quite as much as I think they would. Go ahead and throw it, V. No, just, just lob, just lob it. Don't like throw it, throw it. Bunny boots. This might be the single coolest thing that the military has ever developed. So let us ride together and learn about this 40 pound per shoe piece of tech wear made in the US of America. That's what it says right there. Made in the US of America. Isn't that dumb? Made in the US of America. Theme song. <laughs> Extreme cold vapor barrier boots, also referred to as bunny boots, are a, uh, a product of the United States Armed Forces. Which like, even if you're like me and you think that the United States gets into wars over the absolute stupidest stuff, we do get some pretty sweet Johns out of it. These are surprisingly difficult to find now, which just totally figures that the time when it's actually cool to have gargantuan, shapeless, bulbous footwear, they stop making them. If you're already familiar with these boots, it's probably for one of three different reasons. One, because you might have seen it at the end of Fargo when the guy is putting the other guy through a wood chipper. Horrifying. Two, because you saw them in that epic Raph Simmons and Sterling Ruby runway show. Or three, because you fought in Korea. Now let's see what they look like on feet. Gotta make sure that we close up the airlock system. Got it. These are so heavy. This is like wearing medicine balls on both of your feet. They weigh six and a half pounds total. That's stupid heavy. All right, let's talk about some details of the boots. Fuck. So these were originally designed during the Korean War for extremely cold conditions. We're talking like negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit kind of cold conditions. Essentially what the design is meant for is that you have this little thing here which either can be opened or closed. And if it's closed then it creates a vacuum seal of rubber around your feet and you're supposed to be able to put up to an inch of wool in there to actually keep your feet completely insulated. And it's gotta be rubber because rubber doesn't breathe at all. If it was made of any kind of natural material like most boots are, then there would be some kind of breathing going on and that actually wouldn't be good if it is negative 35 degrees out. But I don't think the technical side of these boots are really what make them such classics of the menswear world. I think mostly we just really love it when there's vague instructions written on things that look technical. Fold gussets this side only. Keep closed unless airborne. Keep double lace to hold firmly. These boots have got some spooky secrets. But seriously, stuff like that does kind of appeal to the part of my brain that's really attracted to like a lot of Raph Simmons work, for example. Like when he does things like write the word fathers and then put a bunch of seemingly unrelated pictures onto a coat, I kind of switch into what does it all mean mode. But of course, the what does it all mean only happens for those of us who actually know nothing about how to use these things correctly. Also, I just sort of like the fact that these rubber pieces all sort of just look like they were left on the stove and kind of melted together a little bit. This particular pair has been beat to absolute shit because it was produced in the year 1990. I actually like them a little bit better when they're all yellowed out. It looks more like something that like Rick or Guidi would produce. Undeniably the coolest part of the shoe is this valve with the instructions keep closed unless airborne written on it. Apparently these are so closed up, so truly airtight, that if you were to go through a drastic pressure change like flying in an airplane, it would actually rip the shoe apart. And I imagine it might hurt your foot a little bit as well. But even after 30 years of wear and tear, these still do their job and they still keep your feet way too hot, even to wear for a couple of minutes while filming a video. In total, I give these bad boys a 10 out of a possible 10. These are incredibly cool looking shoes. They add a ton to a silhouette and uh, they're, just, they're just cool. It's like one of those things where it's like, I, I don't even feel like I have to justify it. Like clearly these boots are awesome. 
We'll be back next week with more runway analysis, but it's, you know, stuff like this. I'm not gonna keep this kind of stuff from you. Go follow me on Instagram and Twitter where you can see lots of hot takes about other things regarding clothes, some behind the scenes stuff, and also just me being on social media platforms. I really do love talking to you guys, so if you get a chance, hit me up in my DMs or in the comments section anywhere. Out here in your Balenciaga Triple S shoes, thinking that you've got the biggest, chunkiest, most dad sneakers in the game. Y'all better rep the set and. Oh, fuck. <laughs>